Hello and welcome to the Sprawl Subversion episode. I guess technically this is 2.0. Um, today the biggest plan is going to be downtime moves. And maybe building up to a next mission. I'm host and game master, still Seraph. With us this evening is Blank Stare, a.k.a. Your blanks eight two one on Twitter, if I remember correctly. I do believe that is correct. Uh, our our favorite um, pusher, Trip West, who is Shane and Earth's Trip West on Twitter, mm -hmm. and Replica, aka James, who is nothing on Twitter because he's not on Twitter. Um, right. I've already discussed it with you guys, but. Who are you? Why are you here? How are you this evening? I'll start with you, Will. All right. Um, as our wonderful GM pointed out, I am blank, playing Blank Stare. And I am our group's killer. And I've been pretty good at doing that the past couple of sessions. And I'd like to keep that streak going if, if we can. Um, IRL, I'm. Uh, Software developer and nerd who enjoys gaming and family time and all that jazz. And doing pretty well tonight. Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> Shane, how's it going this evening? Good. It's it's pre-pre-Friday, I guess, night. We're almost there. Getting there. Uh, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. <laughs> uh, you know... Feels like the longest week ever coming back from Thanksgiving, but had that five day weekend and then Monday rolled around and it was just the worst feeling. But other than that, good. Yeah, compared to the. I worked from home all week. I hate you so much. We <laughs> were here talking, I had five day weekend, we'll work from home all week, and you're like, yeah, I did 40 hours over Thanksgiving. So <laughs> I guess it could be worse for me. Yeah, there was not a lot of sleep had for me over the weekend, so I was basically just zombieing the whole weekend. Eh, no big deal. Um, James, how's it going with you? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, I am playing uh, the group's infiltrator. Uh, yeah. Yes, replica. And yeah, my Thanksgiving was sick. Spent the entire time with a really painful sinus cold and uh, did not have any fun either. Yeah. Can't I'm win them all. On that one. Uh, we were all sick here too. So. Hopefully people made some awesome investments in uh, Black Friday and or Cyber Monday. In the case in point for me, as I've shown everyone on the stream so far, this was my big purchase. I love this thing to death. It makes this job a lot easier. <laughs> awesome. I got a um, new monitor. That's what I did. Nice. What size? 32. Curved. I'm excited. It's not 4K, but I don't really have a 4K ready PC. So it's yeah. 1440p, but it's 144 hertz refresh rate. So, nice. yeah. I'm excited. I'm drooling over the the new Samsung the 49 inch ultra wide that oh I saw that <laughs> if I could afford it I would put it above my three monitors and it would probably stretch the entire length of my three monitors yeah. oh, and it man. would be awesome but I don't have twelve hundred dollars to drop on a 49 inch monitor can you believe that like a decade ago a 32 inch TV would have been like wow that's a pretty good TV that's yeah, pretty nice. And now you're like, yeah, my monitor is 32 inch and curved, and <laughs> <laughs> that was literally a discussion my wife and I had uh, six or seven months ago when we were replacing our 32 inch TV from a decade ago. Oh. There you go. Or <laughs> you go two decades ago, and a 32 inch CRT was like 20 grand. Yeah. Yeah. It's ridiculous, but that's technology for you. Mm -hmm. Um. So, the format for this one, because, well, 
I kind of want to make it more about your characters and less about me just making up a mission. Yes, I can probably come up with a mission that meshes you guys in. But I have a feeling you guys are equally as good at digging your own graves. I don't need to dig the grave for you. Um, have you met Trip? That's all he does. Yeah, exactly. It's, in Trip's case, he may be better at yeah. digging his own grave. Um, and side note, as you notice, we are missing one person right now. Jim will be here soon-ish. I don't have an exact ETA for him yet, so when he gets here, he'll get here. Um, he's helping a friend. He told me he'd be late, so decided to start the stream anyways, since a few of us have uh, limited time. Um, so, who would like to, A, give a quick summary of our last mission? And whether or not it was a complete success or failure. And B, start off with the uh, downtime moves. I mean, I think Trip thought our last mission was a rousing success. Well, you got away. You and got you away. got away with some loot, too. I got away with some loot. Uh, got to use some enhanced interrogation techniques on on our poor scientist. Uh, did not get shot, which I think Trip West would be very fond of. Uh, well, Blank is a fond of actually getting shot, so... Yeah, I was about to yeah. say, oh, I did, but actually, no, it's more like, ooh, I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, we broke into the research facility. We stumbled upon a whole trove of artificial intelligence brains, which Replica tried to take literally all of, even though we could never have carried them all out and would have died. Uh, but we rescued... A good, a good portion of them. I just couldn't get um, the uh, the office cart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagining replica with like a, just like a shopping cart now running with all these AI brains <laughs> through this like fancy facility well, as he's getting just shot quiet. at. Yeah. Um. Well, considering you guys would have, I forget how you guys escaped. I vaguely remember you guys escaping in a. Oh my god, we It'll have to cool. escape, sort of. Yeah, you, you yeah, guys escaped yeah. in a probably less than stellar way to put a cart in a vehicle. Yeah. So. I was he, there, no, for the best. Blank Steer ran into his nemesis? His armistice? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, his, his previous owner of his uh, arm cybernetics, as it were. Um... Which we'll have to get those fixed somehow because I think you're missing some blades, right? Right there, Blanker? Yeah. yeah, I am. And I have a nice little hole in my arm where they used to be. Oh, that's right. You get to stop and do a, uh, hopefully hit the streets roll. Or not hit, not hit the streets. Um, Under the knife, I think. Yeah, under the knife roll. So that'll be a fun one for you. I should probably uh, yeah, and then we those. escaped off the top of the roof with one of the those fancy flying cars they have in the future that everyone's been promised for the last like <laughs> 50 years. Well, um, a little bit more fancy than that, but same basic concept. And we went back to Agrippa's apartment. Uh, got all of our stuff and left. Yeah. Pretty, pretty concise there. Uh, you guys had a good mission and you got a great role on the, uh, the ending, so you weren't hunted down, or you got you yes. got you got fully paid, which helped. You didn't let me double cross our uh, our um, what's what's the word for the guy who gives a mission in uh, Shadowrun? It's like uh, a, Mr. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson, yeah, he didn't he didn't let us double cross our Mr. Johnson, but <clears throat> well, oh. I kind of made it a, a a moral choice on you guys. I I, I approve of. <laughs> I, I have ideas for the long term of where that moral choice will uh, take you. Although, someone... I think Tripp did pretty well. Yeah. He didn't even ask for a reward for turning over most of the AI brains. Hey, I, I probably would have given it to you, too. I mean, you only kept, what, one, two? That's not so many. Yeah. <laughs> I have this, like, eerie vision of Tripp building this, like, two AI brain... Um like designer uh what's the word i'm looking for um propaganda machine <laughs> <laughs> anti space yeah propaganda machine it's your it's your twitter bot of the future basically yeah. <laughs> designed to manipulate the system 
Um, yeah, uh, you guys had a very awesome roll at the very end. Otherwise, you probably would have had one or two more combats to wrap up the evening. Um, you guys are not very well liked by Shinvex. Not very well liked by Rytel, and otherwise pretty well off, I think you've got. And I think that covers everyone. Yeah, you just can't see it. There we go. Now everyone can see it on the stream, but... um, So right now it's going to be more of a... This is the after mission. You've gotten away. You have your money. You've been paid off. Everything's cool. Y'all go back to your theoretically respective hideouts but you could also meet up each other as well um the option is there i will not i will not limit you guys to what you guys end up doing with your ill-gotten gains and then you might explore to see what missions you get next it is your guys's money after all mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. heaven forbid me you know let you have money. What is this nonsense? Because I think you got a decent amount. I know Will I... has a ton at 10. Yeah, I gained 9 from that mission. Uh, I guess Jim didn't put in his money because he only has one listed on his screen. Oh, yeah, he must not have. Does that mean I get to take his? <laughs> you do not get his... Uh... Oh, that's right. Uh, Trip didn't bet the uh bet the full banana there so he's got slightly less than the other two i actually think jim also bet two if i remember correctly hold on let's let's go look here i'm pretty sure that he bet three i think trip was the only one who didn't bet three yeah trip was, was the only one who bit, did not bet three so apparently i'm a little bit more cautious with my newly found associates than everyone else is eh. did i mark my experience for my masochism i think i did I you remember I didn't if, if you're down. at eight xp you definitely did yeah that's true All right, so um, you guys caught news. Rytel had to make this big announcement saying our project has been delayed by several months. We're not going to be able to make the announcement at the uh, big convention we were planning to make the announcement at. Um, in the interim, please come check out such and such building. We've got cool stuff to show for the for what we will be showing off at this convention. Stay tuned. Um, news reports came in of a mysterious group breaking into a Shinvex uh, executive's home, leaving. Was it two dead? I think it was two dead, and. It was at least one. <laughs> yeah, no, it was no, definitely no. at least one. And we're leaving it, it, one it, dead. And, uh, it was, yeah. One executive at least psychologically injured after the process. Um, Shinvex is beefing up their security at all their locations and will be uh, on the hunt for these individuals who pictures withheld at this time. <laughs> Um, Rytel also reports that the, all of their facilities are on a bit higher of a, uh, of a lockdown after their break-in as well. Um, Alpha X, uh, reports that their new space station has come online. Um, <laughs> they're beginning ferrying rockets up to that sh uh, station once every two or three days so you'll see that in the sky while you're uh wandering around doing your things nothing terribly interesting comes up from kikito prime they really don't want to make the news in fact they enjoy not making the news um genetifix announces some fancy new pet miniature animals um, That's little freaking giraffes yeah little giraffes <laughs> and, and elephants forward. and <laughs> um, even a, like, tame, domesticated guard, like, panther? Oh. I want one It's like a yeah. two-thirds scale panther, so to better fit in buildings. Um, 
to be determined as to when that releases. Can you imagine um, Trip in his sports car with a panther in the passenger seat? <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Um, C squared doesn't make any major announcements, though you have been noticing a lot more of their shipments coming through the city off and on. Um, it's almost a little odd that you've seen a lot more of their um, automated trucks passing through main thoroughfares more and more often, but no announcements, no big deals there. And Tepco Dow has also announced that their main um, uh, strip mining barge, the I haven't come up with a net fancy name for it yet. Uh, Will is it's your corporation if you want to come up with an interesting name for their their primary floating city slash strip mining facility i will happily take it off of you otherwise i will eventually come up with something let me see i'll come up with something okay regardless that thing is coming into port in the next week or so <clears throat> who knows what might be on it and that's it for news of the uh, Calitokyo Megaplex, or at least the main corporations. Crime is crime. Operators are doing what they do. Corporations are the police, so we'll see where things yeah, what, go. What does the police blotter look like? Like, how many stolen bicycles were there? And um, Redacted. Redacted, okay. Yeah, the police blotter is literally just black lines. <laughs> they're like we don't want you to know what's actually going on in this city so sorry oh as a side hello bowbender welcome back as you can see i fixed chat so feel free to chat as much as you want since for some reason last night i broke it to set it to emotes only and i'm like how f, f did i do that yeah what ifs <laughs> um odd feature so, what is everyone doing? Uh, I th I think Trip is probably gonna try to go back to to Shinvex, that company he works for, and maybe try to you know smooth things over. Smooth things over a little bit, and I'm gonna Use make that, I'm gonna make Use that I'm AI gonna... propaganda machine to uh, yeah. Spin. Well, I was thinking. Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna make an appeal to you. I think Trip is gonna try to uh, bring these um, these AI brains back to Shinvex to maybe mm. try to like appease them, which I think should be maybe worth an extra bonus on the uh, on the the downtime roll. Hey, hey, look what I picked up off the black market. Yeah, I will we'll... give you. I was gonna give you a potential two cred bonus for those. One cred each for them. Okay, that's. Similar. I can I can convert that to a that's now cred you're spending on your um, corporal. Cool. Uh, are you going to add any other? I would say you have a max plus. I want to say since you can only cap out your your stats at I want to say three or four. I would give that you can spend up to four total so you got two more points to spend if you want we'll, we'll do that we need to get the shinvex clock Let's put this on chat down a little bit all right by all means roll a how do i roll cred basically 2d6 plus whatever, whatever cred so you spend. if you're spending two cred plus the two heads you can roll plus four is there a generic roll uh slash r space 2d6 plus four Alright. Unfortunately, there's not a just roll a thing. Just slash R2D6. R space 2D6 plus 4. That's definitely more than 10. Hey. So, you get to pull 3 off that, which I can assume one of them is probably going to be you increase your status. Yes. I will choose That's side definitely that. definitely one of them. I will option it. Since you did get a 10+, plus, you can take 
one more of that, or you can take the normal two more of the rest. Or one of each of the rest. Whatever. However that wording works to make it so you can choose two more from the rest of the list. Or you can take one more extra point pulling it back. Mm. So Shinbex is a is a commercial company, right? It's a media company. Um, going back to my notes here. Well, I, out of the out of the like, is this corporation with a particular focus have further options? Give me a sec here, because I have not quite mastered the fine art of everything involved with these. Uh, propaganda, money laundering, unreported investing, your subprime mortgage stuff. Um, I also kept the, the banking, general goods, tech and mm -hmm. housing in the description. It's not necessarily necessary, but with how big corporations are in this world, they could have divisions that do literally everything. Um, some of their divisions might be smaller than others. Their media, um... Their media division is, you know, probably takes up their entire yeah. Bay Area side fancy HQ mm -hmm. versus all the other divisions are like, oh, there's the housing division that sits in back ass side of the, you know, um, sticks. There's the money laundering, which they don't want anyone knowing about. That's literally an unmarked building in the middle of nowhere. You know, that sort of stuff. Yeah. So by all means, if there's a division you want to add to that company, it being, I believe your company, is it not? I, it is my company too. You yeah. could add, it's, 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 uh, this is as much your world as it is mine. So if you say a company, the company has a division, it has a division. Cool. Um, after all that, I still think I'm just going to take that extra okay. point. Okay. <laughs> I think it'd be real bad if. If Trip pisses off his own company so bad that they start coming after him, I think he would be really. Uh, I, he's he's kind of in that self preservation. So you are owned by them, so they might even still ask you to do something, anyways. Well, yeah, I'd, I'd rather them ask you to do something than send someone to. Uh, well, know, then, ask me then to your get into status would switch from being owned to being hunted. So uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Um. Cool. Well, that burns two of your cred. You have plenty less to spend. I will pass it on to whoever's next. Well, I know what I did is I got some personal business to attend to. Yes, you do. And I need to figure out where the hell Dead Eyes went. Ah. I, uh, <clears throat> and if I can get any information on him or even find and kill him, <laughs> which I well, think was probably taking it too far. But at least I would like to uh, get some get some info and get after him. Maybe take out an underling or two of his. Start the, so, the John. Thing to remember, revenge. You still have your arms to repair or replace as needed, which is going to cost you money as well. Yeah. So <clears throat> just factor that in the amount of money you have and the amount of money you're about to spend on uh, hunting down your. Uh, foe as it were <coughs> i mean oh, I don't get me wrong i am all for you spending all your money on hunting down your foe because that'll be no, fun I'm <laughs> enough for uh for going under their knife too but first things first i need to figure out what I, while the trail's still hot i want to get on said trail yeah <clears throat> by all means go for it Oops. all right so i'm going to spend Two cred on this. It's I'm sorry, it's one D six plus fours as the macro. Two D six. Space two D six plus two D six plus two. Because you're spending two cred. I'm spending two. I was reading his and yep. talking a lot. Right? That's that's not good. a fail. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. So, it, you find nothing. Well, you find that since your mission, he's kind of gone under the radar. Okay. Um, you've heard some inkling and rumors that he's gone under the knife to uh, 
fix some, I don't know, giant holes people left in them. <laughs> um, I wanted him dead. I pulled out the big gun. <laughs> you're, you're not entirely sure exactly what doctor or where, but you know he's still in Calatokyo, which kind of narrows it down to a space the size of half of California. So, yeah. you know he's somewhere here. Um, but in the process, your search, you know, f- raised some red flags. Um, you, you, as you're, you're going through your contacts, as you're, you're checking anywhere digitally, you kind of get booted out at one point with a just like red skull screen and you're like uh oh that's not good so <laughs> i will i will make a note making a note time to hook the uh, that was that was an expensive uh a trailer and get out of here <laughs> that was an expensive shooting a flare up in the air going hi i'm here mm-hmm. Son um, of a... all right yeah Blank's here. If you want us to get in trouble, just tell Trip. They'll cause it. Like, don't you don't need to okay. spend the cred. My bad. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's do a new. Oops. Cancel. I need a notepad just for all the shit you guys have started or not started. As the case. <laughs> Let me make a note of that as well. Let's just do it that way. Notepad. Yay! There we go. Notepad. Alright, so trip delt two x It's so weird after saying it ten to see it back down to six um, clock slots. Uh, rolled it well, rolled a thirteen. Uh, blank six. To find info on dead eyes, F- failed to find anything actually useful other than that he's not dead. He knows about blank. All right, who's next? So I guess uh, I'll, I'll take my turn. <clears throat> so. Uh, Replica is going to uh, take care of personal business herself uh-huh. and look into uh, trying to track down uh, William Davidson. Sure. Uh, since he was the last time that I encountered him or that I was uh, with him was during a Shinvex um, related mission. Mm-hmm. It could be dealing with them or it could be just personal business. I'm not sure which you want to, to um... make this. I, it feels more personal business to me, but it does kinda. Though I would not be, um, I would not disallow using corporations. I would kind of more do either since you're looking for information, and I should have done this actually with blank as well. Um, it's there more a, a factor of I think it's either hit the clubs or deal with the corpse because you both looking for information. Um, All right. I was also whereas, looking for revenge. Yeah, so, whereas yeah. personal business is more like, not only am I on the hunt, I'm on the hunt and kind of want to go and kill the fucker. All right. Then let's make it, um, after how hot that was, I'm going to be uh, going around in non-corp uh, circles to okay. try to find out where it is. I'm gonna hit the clubs. Cool. <laughs> oh, he should have done the corpse and then like get a terrible roll and undo everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd only move the clock one and then probably do something else. But yeah. So describe. Tell me about this club. You're, well, tell me about the uh, seedier parts of town you're going to and uh, what it is you're doing. Um. So I am going to. Basically, a uh, series of, um, uh, I guess, um, 
business, you know, the, the like business bars and uh, clubs and things like that, where <clears throat> various operators tend to congregate. Um, and chatting up people there, um, trying to obliquely uh, uh, bring him up in case he is, in case he's like uh, hot in some fashion that I don't know about. All right, so I'll say the uh, the club you end up getting the most information, depending on how you roll, is called the yeah. West Wall. As All right, it were it's on the. Uh, it's on the the downtown edge that abuts to the ocean, hence the wall. But it's also yeah. a you know this is the Western Wall Street Club, basically. All right. So. All right. So. It's been. No, it's. Let's see. Let's see. All right. So I just created a. Uh... Oh. <laughs> nice. Uh, which is good oh, that I spent a crap. Just hour. barely made yeah. that one. Seven. Wow, you both rolled three and one. Yeah, that was terrible. Holy um, cow! Finally right. cutting it real close there. Um. Hmm. All right, so choose one of those. All right. Um. I think that uh, I would like to hear. Rumors of an opportunity that uh, somehow involves uh, William. So without just being like, oh, I hear rumors that, you know, he's happily yeah. in a hotel somewhere. What rumors do you hear? Okay. Um, so I think that I hear rumors about him being uh, employed. Uh you know, in quotes, at a uh, Shinvex uh, facility somewhere, um, you know, on the south edge of, or on the southern end of, uh, uh, what's it, uh, Cal Tokyo? It's the, uh, <clears throat> thing. So there is Cal a. Cal Tokyo Megaplex, yep. Yeah. So there is a uh, um, Shinvex. Or uh, there is what I assume is a Shinvex facility in the south that uh, has uh, that he is rumored to work at that is valuable in some fashion for you know a potential job or that sort of thing. Um, okay, that sounds good. You you've you've heard rumors oh. that he's employed. Which means yes. he's not really employed so much as he's maybe interred. You're not 100% sure there. Um, uh, you've heard rumors of a, a, a Shinvex studio complex at the south end of... kind of Actually, kind of near the, uh, um, the green zone where you last did your operation. It, it abuts up to against the... Uh, um, what is the name of that place? That park from the last mission. All the things are. Oh. My brain's not working. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank as well. Uh, the Big Sur Green Zone. It, it's kind of adjacent to that as well. Uh, whereas Delta Facility was more northerly, uh, the, the Shinvex Studio Complex is more south of that, deeper into the hills, kind of built into the Green Zone. Um, but there's not much anyone really knows about it. You just know that, oh, that's just where they, that's where they film stuff, I think. I don't know. That's what I heard. Uh, nobody really goes over there, though, and it's not as if they allow tours, so I don't know. Um, lamenting the golden age of, uh, studio tours and other, uh, tourism connected to the movie industry. Out of the corner of your eye, though, you also see some... They're dressed to look like they fit in in this bar, but with the way they carry themselves, a little bit more uh, beefier, a little bit more like if you looked in the right places, you'd probably see concealed weaponry. You see them sitting at a table with 
undrunk drinks in front of them, kind of looking at you as you're milling around for questions. All right. You are not 100% certain, but maybe about 25-30% certain that they might be syndicate. If I remember correctly, you are hunted. Yes, you are. Yes. All right. They, they, one of them picks out a phone, starts talking on it for about a minute, and they yeah. all stand up at once and file out. All right. Uh, I am then, well, uh, disguise myself in, you know, go to the, uh, the restroom, disguise myself, and leave as a different person. Um, and be more, very worried about that. When you walk out, you see all the vehicles that were all parked there when you got there in the first place. Um, one of them kind of rolls down the window, looks at this person who does not look like the person who was in there in the first place, rolls it back up again. Um, you catch it as one of the higher-ups in the syndicate that you uh, may have screwed over in the process. Uh, oh, great. They speed off frustrated, but are now on your trail. All right. So you spent three, which saved your life. You spent two, and you spent two plus heads. All right. Is anyone else going to do anything with the rest of their money? I know Blank has some surgery he needs to do. Yeah, did anyone do else want to do any? Well, I guess. Let's see here. What options do we have? Home improvement's not a thing. Um, is any? I mean, I guess we do have technically homes, but it might be worthwhile if you uh, want to do roots at some point. Um, at the moment, none of you officially have a job. You have some, some news that gives you little tie-ins. You never know. Tepco Dow might have something with their facility coming into Harbor. Um, you guys hunt down a handler that works too. Uh, but I'm open to suggestions. Otherwise, by all means, we can, uh, Send someone to the doctor. Oh, I definitely need to do that. Okay, let's, let's do that for now. All right. Let's see if I can't hunt back down my PDF here, because heaven forbid I put something away here. Um, under the knife. So, first step in this list. Tell me... You're probably going to have to declare a contact, because we don't have a doctor on record at the moment. We do, don't we? Well, just Jim, so I guess we didn't yeah. technically meet her yet. Jim's, or Jim's not actually we? done the role for that yet. Oh, uh, okay. Um, oh, you, you can do the declare the contact. Um, you'd still have to hit the street regardless. And this, I'll let you do a declare a contact in the downtime. Because more contacts means more people I can use against you. Oh. Am I still at uh, harm... Oh, did, did that go away to clear that clock? Harm clears, remember. so your harm is good. Okay. Right. Your arm is still, or I your arms are that. still non-functional. I did right. like the, the whole putting the blade up to stop the bullet, though. That's <laughs> that's super cool. I, I approve Damn. of that. How do I clear it? Um, so, put it back to 12 o'clock? Click on, it, it's not it doing it. Let me uh, close it. I've got it popped out. I might have bugged. Uh, oh, the, the little tick box at the top, not the actual fancy looking clock. Trying. Oh, there we go. I gotta walk it back. Got it. <clears throat> ah, gotcha. I gotta walk it back. Didn't realize that. I was just clicking oh, on 12. I was looking at the wrong. I looked at Jim's character. He also has harm that I should probably uh, undo while we're at it here. Okay. Weird. I didn't have to walk back. I just clicked on 12 and his two harm went away. Huh. Yeah, mine. I don't, maybe because you're GM or something. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. So, 
I'm going to actually dial back the music a little bit because it sounds a little loud. Where are you going with the knife? There we go. So I just spend cred max plus two and hope for the best kind of thing here. Well, first and foremost, you are because you. Oh, I don't have a doctor. Even if even if we had the contact, you'd have to hit the street. So I will accept that Jim will quote unquote have made a contact, and you won't at least have to deal with the um, potential of them going oh. Well, you need to do something for me, unless you don't roll great on hit the street. Oh, so, well, I don't that. mind uh, burning the contact either, because I haven't done one yet. But yeah, um, either way. Let me see. Does Jim have links with you? I'm going to... Um, links, 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 links. Where might she go? I know he jumped in a lot of links, so it's entirely possible. I just got to remember where. I have a link with him. He does have a link with you as well. So okay. I will give you... A theoretical... I will give him a, a Lynx roll with you if you want a bonus. Since he's here right now. Not here right now. I would assume you'd probably go to him and be like, Hey, can you, can you help me out here? Yeah. Okay. So I will that. roll that for him. Drum roll, please. Oh. That's a no. So no bonus. And Yay. he's implicated in whatever... Um, with whatever ends up happening between <laughs> you and the doctor. The doctor. All right. Well, let's Roll go see. <laughs> huh? Yeah, seriously. Uh, yeah, the random number generator this. does not like you guys tonight. Like strip. Yeah, yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, it does. That's true. But he also basically gave up, like... Two cred worth of awesome gear or leverage, as well as two of his own cred to help that out too. That's true. Um Alright, so I'm gonna roll hit the street first to go talk to said doctor. Yep. I know, I've got like twelve windows open. I'm trying to navigate everything. I have got game up. board, us. Character sheet, book, <laughs> chat. Uh, All right. My... Uh -huh. Style. Ew. Eesh. What the hell? That's my hit the street. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> what is happening? Holy cow. What is happening right now? <laughs> Maybe maybe you should have uh, bandaged and cleaned up before you hit the streets. Maybe. Wow. I'm, like, bleeding everywhere. <laughs> Even if I gave you a forward, you would still not have succeeded. Why? The worst you could have done is snake eyes, and you almost got snake eyes. Ugh. So, even with Jim also, well... Was Max also in the process of trying to hunt down his doctor contact with you? You both have the worst luck, and by the time you have finally gotten hold of her, she is in big trouble and is going to definitely need some help from you guys. Um, she is having issues with. Oops, did I just screw everything up on my things up? No, I didn't. Okay. She's having issues with genetics. And being a doctor on record, you're going to have to uh, try and clear her out of their database. Either through whatever means you can come up with. Um, and yeah, that's going to be the big one that she needs from you. Um, until that's done, we'll do it in mission, or you can try and do it in mission or see what you can do there. Um, yeah. so you'll be at a, a minus one for hitting the street until that's fixed. Um, but she says that she can help you guys out. Unfortunately, right now, she's also kind of being watched, not just by Genetifix. Well, let's look at you again. 
She's also got a uh, what is it? A a retinue of GP personnel that she's doing um, last minute surgeries for. <laughs> she can sneak you in, but she can't promise you'll go completely unnoticed. And it's going to cost you extra. Ugh. Ugh. It'll only be a one cred extra cost, but it is still one more cred. The way I'm rolling, I got to put all all the cred I can into this damn thing, and it's still going to fail. <laughs> well, you can only put two cred in, so. All right, so it would be a max three cred. Um, one I cost. will say it's. It wouldn't be plus it's, three. It'd be it's plus max. Three. Max plus two, but you could put yeah. three, you have to put three cred in. Cost if you is want a the minimum plus two. Of one. Yeah. Gotcha. Otherwise, it's a if if you only put one cred in, it's a minus one to the roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Well, I mean, can't roll bad three times in a row, can you? <laughs> Wait, is there anything else I want to do? Yeah, I just. So with seven and nine, it was choose two. With six, with the three you rolled, I choose three. So it uh, will make you indebted to her to try and get her off Janetta Fix's radar. It will make you attract. It'll make both you and Max attract GP attention and cost you extra. I could probably do all four. But taking time doesn't matter, so. So if if I go through with it, we'll we'll get those negatives. We'll get it, we're indebted. If I don't go through with it, are we still indebted to her? I think we kind of are, aren't we? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. What about GP? Same. Like uh, everything's I already will, happened. I will leave it as. You won't. I uh, I was gonna do a two slot. Add to GP if you go. It would only be a one slot if you don't. But you also got to be, you know, still down your cyber gear. Um, I'm going. Screw it. <laughs> plus, uh, if you read the last little bit of Go Under the Knife, do remember that any cyberware you get uh, has a uh, extra added cost. I'll I'll let you. Uh, Work out who you make a deal with as far as uh, um, corporations are concerned. So I, I still have the uh, the cyberware. So am I having to get any? Am I actually going to buy anything extra? Yeah, that cyberware. Yes, you have it, but it's destroyed. So okay. <laughs> yes. Let's see. They 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 look at it and go, or I forget her name, but yeah, she looks at it and goes, <laughs> um, yeah. You're gonna have to bring me some some new stuff. <laughs> that that stuff is toast. <laughs> when you put a when you put a what two centimeter round through it, um, yeah, not much is left. All right. Uh, let me pull up the cyberware page. Yeah. Um, Dead Eyes Cannon doesn't work in millimeter rounds. It works in centimeter rounds. Oh. <laughs> All right. This would be implant weaponry. Now, how do I find the cost? Uh, the cost to get it replaced, I will say, will either take. Five full cred to get exactly what you had, or getting owned by a corporation. Thanks. Okay. I feel like this like, is getting I less want to and say less it's worth it. Military grade gear was what you had. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I feel like this is not worth it anymore because then I'll be broken. If if you take a let's see here, I gotta remember what the options were when you. Uh... Oh, oh. Why am I looking there when I have the book here, which added bonus, now signed by the Please. guy who made it. Nice. Making fun of Jim for uh, tossing me out of a plane. Um... <laughs> I don't want playbook moves. 
Wow, there's an index just for playbook moves. Today I learned. <coughs> Cyberware acquiring 119. Yeah, the one downside to uh, the midnight is it's really hard to read the uh, page number at the bottom. Yeah, I did notice that, but I love the black. Looks so nice. All right, I think I'm not going to do this because I, yeah. All right. So I will still. We're still in debt to her and we still gain one on the clock, right, for yeah. GP? For me even calling you, you, her. You won't require the. Um, what the? Oops. I don't know. That worked. Weird. Um, it won't require the, the extra pay at the moment. But if you do end up going back to her, it still will. Um, okay. And you still have the uh, request. Yeah. Um, so I come back without cybernetics and <laughs> yeah. an extra burden. So, <laughs> this is a good day, guys. let's see. Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, what did you end up doing? You didn't you go under the knife? You did. Uh, uh, hit the, the street. street. You rolled a three. And get it to Max's doctor. Contact. Get info. Watch. That effects. <laughs> and then. Uh, on radar is GP. Cool. All right. Um, I think oh, we got time for one quick thing. If anyone has a, I want to go shopping. Thing. You want to go shopping? Yes. All right. Trip. Trip needs a new drone. Ah. <laughs> All right. So it's, it's still Cyber Monday week. I think this is fitting. Yeah. <laughs> So, how are you going to go shopping here? Uh, my idea was that after Trip kind of gives the uh, the the AI heads to Shinvex, he kind of requests that he borrow uh, this drone from Shinvex in exchange for some, you know, some some currency or some cred, I guess. Since it's, I guess, cred is like both money and like standing. Okay, so let's see. I will give you another deal with the corpse roll. Cool. Oops, I put blanks information under trip. That's probably not where trip wants it. Oh, that's right, you did. Deal with the corpse, that's right. Okay, so. How much you spending on this? Uh, I only want to spend one, and they've rolled so bad so far that it's got to be ready for a good one, right? Yeah, okay. Sure. sure. We'll it's go like, with that. It's like playing the slot machines. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. He says preparing to roll boxcars. Yeah. yeah. I was Long playing a game of Snake Eyes. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, I gotta refresh because uh, for some mystical reason it didn't. So uh, it was a you... seven. You don't need to refresh. It was a seven. Don't don't bother yeah. refreshing. <laughs> oh, seven's still good. Seven's still good. Yeah, it wasn't a seven. <laughs> Well, it's a, oh, it's it, a it six. It wasn't a seven. It's a six. Thank can, you. I, can I put an extra credit still. now? Yeah. Gives me the chin. No. 
So, Shinvex, still unhappy that you... Okay. Tell me about the division you rolled I know. Like, where did the you division. go to start talking to Shinvex about, hey, I want this drone, hook me up? Well, so I think what happened was that they were, like, my boss's boss got a call, uh, and they were suspicious that I had been involved in some of the activity against Shinvex, and were very unhappy about that. Um, and so I think what happened is that, like, I had, like, passed along these AI brains to, the, like, my, like, through my boss, mm -hmm. um, and it was kind of like, he wasn't involved, per se, maybe, like, on the side, but it was only to get these things that he thought would be useful for us. Um, and so my boss's boss was like, okay, like, sure, but then when I was like, also, can I get a new drone? Then he was like... Okay. Not at all. Yeah, you you you've set it up where your boss is the one passing on the information. Yeah. Um, your boss tries to sell. Hey, we need a drone for this uh, new campaign we're drafting. We need more vistas. We need better visibility on this and that and the other thing. Hook us up because that way we can get the better footage we need for this this view. And Shinvex opens up their kind of. Rolodex of information sees your boss, sees all the pictures of his underlings, and sees yours, and you, by virtue of standing off to the side, not actually being in the shot, but you can see the look on the uh, the the skip level's face when he sees your picture, mm -hmm. and and, and kind of already starting to, you should see him looking at the notes on it, he's like, hmm, you know, with the actions of your employees <laughs> i do not believe that right now i can pass on the assets while we greatly appreciate these ai processors that we will be putting to good use i promise you we will not be granting you the assets you requested also from what we hear your subordinate is not well liked within the upper echelons of the company right now. You might want to keep him out of trouble, just to be aware. From what we hear, one of our executives specifically is on the hunt for him. So, just giving you the heads up there. What else can I do while I'm at it? Um, whilst you're doing that, the screen also flickers slightly, um, which you in your long history of dealing with, um, communications protocols and most notably, hijacking communications protocols you know someone's probably watching um as the executive fades out you get a brief very like one frame flash of this like orangish color kind of tannish mm -hmm. orange color before mm -hmm. it fades away mm -hmm. and that's all you get out of that information, besides two now missing credit, or one missing credit? One missing credit, that's right. I should have done two. Uh, yeah, two would have gotten you something. I know. It probably still would have gotten you in trouble, too. Oops, hey, but I'm think beeping here. All right. Um, I'm going to note that down real fast. And Worst shopping trip ever. I'm, I'm doing the smart thing and actually put up a timer so that, you know, an hour in, we're going to take a break. Um, Roll to six. Uh, try to get drone from skip level, skip level laughed, mentioned, uh, executive anger, uh, communication possibly hacked by a certain company that if you can't guess by the color, uh, you should go look at the logos again. Um, 
All right, so I'm going to say a 10-minute break to step out, get some drinks, uh, relieve ourselves, relax, hang out, enjoy the music, and we'll be right back.
And we're back. Welcome to hour two of uh, the Sprawl subversion. Um, still no ETA from Jim, so he may not be in today. So we might be a little bit shorter than normal because I don't want to start a mission without him. Um, so, so far everyone has two actions, but our uh, friendly neighborhood infiltrator, if I'm looking at my notes correctly... Correct. Uh, does our infiltrator want to spend any more fanciness? No. Not it's to me. Trap. <laughs> it's it a trip. A trap. <laughs> um, I was actually thinking that at some point we should start looking at um the a headquarters place sort of uh, place to plan. Well, there's the headquarters. There's also a handler. Um, both of those are definite probabilities. Um, but I'm all for the the headquarters if you want a combined safe space that I may or may not use to blow up in the future. <laughs> um, no, I think... Uh, <clears throat> I will. I'm going to look for a handler. I think that'll be what I what I do. Okay. All right. So bring up my sheet again. There goes some more money. Mm -hmm. And if replica that... searches for a zealot, do they just find me? How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't think that I will be looking for a zealot. That's your choice. Um, you get to pick whatever <laughs> you like. You go searching for a zealot and you walk in and that's just me sitting there and you're like, oh, hey. <laughs> Are you here for the meeting too? <laughs> Hi, I'm Trip West and I'm a zealot. <laughs> Hi, I'm Trip West and I'm trying to stop humanity from going to space. <laughs> Good job on that one, by the way. <laughs> and and right. as you say that, there's a window in the background. You see a rocket firing off in the space. <laughs> Seven. All right. You get a hit. Feel free to pick oh. which one you like. That's an 11. Oh, yes. Yeah, there we go. I don't know how I saw it. Seven. Whatever, that's still a... Uh, unfortunately, this has no bonus other than I will happily let him just give you a mission rather than wanting something and give you a mission. Well, right. I want something because he's got a mission for you, but... Yeah. But not something, like, additional Not something where you don't have an option on, you know, pay. Are they an eco-terrorist who wants to blow up spaceships? No. Well, I don't know. What's Replica say? That doesn't seem like the circles Replica would uh, roll in there. Yeah. Despite so, knowing Trip. <laughs> That's what, Trip is a, a co-worker, not rather <laughs> than a... <laughs> a friend. Trip, Trip is a special one. <laughs> yeah. So we know I think he's got useful contacts. Yeah. So I think that I find... This is not who, I was, who Replica was looking for. Mm -hmm. But the cyber preppy. Idle and uh, decadent. Ooh. Seeking excitement. All right, I need a name here. <laughs> and, of course, my Pixel C is going to sleep here. Ever forbid the keyboard actually work when I want it to? Hmm. Oh, so many good ones. So, <clears throat> just from a narrative standpoint, I think this happens.
with my other personal business. Oh, during uh, the, uh, travels through I, your uh, your bars. Yeah. So I'm at a uh, at a different place at some later at, at a different time, but while I was doing the bar crawl thing. So you meet. Oh my god. <laughs> give, give me the most obnoxious uh <laughs> well you can try I, I picked obnoxious. the name because I liked the name because it was simple and easy to deal with but in the little the random generator for it James Moore drowns orphans in private swimming pool overseas sales divisions nervous sweaty sloppy I'm like what <laughs> <laughs> let's pass on that one that's a <laughs> Uh, but I, but I, I'm like, what, what? The other one we got is under the influence of a rogue AI head of administration or likes his women completely devoid of hair. Uh, Ooh, I like this one and it fits all the titles. You meet Simon song. He wants to Simon die, Song. but is afraid of the afterlife. He's a popular, decadent socialite. Open, friendly, and business-like. So, Simon, while being a uh, decadent socialite, still dresses to the nines. You caught his attention as you're going through one of your your fancy bars, and he flags you over and goes, Hey. You look like someone who gets stuff done. You fit in here like a dog fits in at a cat convention. You're on the hunt for something. I'm also on the hunt for something. Really? What I you... live up in this ivory tower, but... I have all this money at my exposure at, at my brain's not working. My my disposal? ability yeah, there we go. Disposal. But nothing really to use it on. I want the newest, fanciest, most exciting thing you can give me. And I hear Genetifix is doing this crazy modified creatures group. I want all of it. All of I it. don't know when they're sending it. I don't know what's going on. But you know what? I want one of those fancy little zebras. The ones that are like, you know, one six scale that could go with all of my models I have up on the wall. I want I... one of those tiny pet elephants that are like lap elephants. I want one of those. I've heard about those. Guard Panthers. <laughs> I want one of those drop bears. I want it all. <laughs> and I know they've got it. It'll be awesome. It'll make my place like the envy of everyone around if I have it before everyone else. You got to hook me up. I know you can do it. I all right. brings up this like. Instant dossier on his on his AR already knows who you are. Pleasure to meet you, replica. Uh, that that is that is not supposed to be out there. <laughs> uh, all right. Hey, it's amazing what money can do. That that is true. Um, hey, give me your uh, uh, a contact uh, number for you and. Uh, I will, I will do my best to uh, see what we can do here. With a wave of a hand, you just get a printout on your AR that's his name, his his um, main office line, his direct line, his private email contact, and uh, um, the location of a drop off, like. 
surprisingly, from your information, as the, the address prints out, it brings up a, uh, a holographic map, and it's listed as a warehouse. When you look at it, it looks like a mansion. You're like, what? Warehouse, mansion. How does that work? It's in the middle of a green zone. Completely fits in with everything else, but as as he kind of notices your confusion, he's like, yeah, I, I pretty much tore everything out of that building. It just stores all my cool stuff. At least well, houses it when I don't need it so that you can get it there, make it disappear, and no one's going to look there. It's it's a green zone. Everyone just yeah. assumes people aren't doing anything in green zones. That, that makes perfect sense. Yep. <clears throat> and, you know, if you do good for me, maybe I'll, I'll contact you again. Who knows? Sounds good. Sounds good. So. I spent two. Yeah. And you did handler. You got eleven. So. Um. I think I, I think that's unless there's anything else you want to declare about him. I'm. No, I think that 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 sounds fun to me. <laughs> sounds good to me. Cool. Um, yeah. So now you guys got a job that I got to come up with a good uh, name yeah. for. Um, so, yeah. So I will after after I uh, separate from that uh, from meeting with uh, Simon, mm -hmm. call up the uh, the others. Uh, is this is this before or after you already got scoped out in the other bar? Um. This is. Probably after that happened. Okay. Oh, and side note: at the very end, one of the last contacts you get is his like PA, and he goes, "Talk to uh, James Moore. He's gonna have, he's gonna have all the information. <laughs> I'm just the, I'm just the money." So <laughs> when you call up Trip, what do you tell Trip? How do you how do you sell it to him? Because you you call him and he picks up and you can hear he's at like a bar and you can hear some like drinking going on. All right, <laughs> the same bar. <laughs> I I'll let you you role play all this out. This is I am all for for watching this stuff. <clears throat> and uh, you know, not getting through to uh, to Max for whatever reason. So I came across an interesting uh, possibility that uh may that i could use your help with and you may be able to pull some uh benefit from yourselves uh, there is what kind of benefit here because i need you can you hear just like really loud in the background he's like i'm a little little busy tonight oh um, the doesn't have to be tonight uh <clears throat> there's there is a uh, uh, socialite or wealthy socialite by the name of uh, mm. Simon Songy. I don't know if you've heard of him. I hadn't. Mm. Uh, he's looking for all kinds of weird monstro genetic monstrosities from uh, Genetifix. I know you're interested in their uh, yeah. their like car like, panther. The, well, you hear a glass shatter. You hear heavy breathing and all of a sudden you just hear a roar of an engine and like it's peeling out and I'm assuming that since we're, we're like, there's a little ping already. Since you called me, I know your location because we're like buddies. Um, and you yeah. just hear that if there's like horns honking and like you just hear these tires <laughs> screaming around these corners. And in what is like an absurdly short amount of time, you hear out like you can hear it from the phone, but from outside now, like this roar of an engine and this like huge skid. Uh, and you see me like walk in the door and I'm like, You said car panther? <laughs> I did, yes. So, um, while to to sell this to uh, to blank stare, I know that uh, Julia was in need of some help from uh, Genetic Fix as well. So that might be this might be something we can hit two birds with one stone type deal. Shared that information, of course. Yeah, yeah I, I did. Was... I was pissed off, and I called. Uh, I tried to call. Yeah, I no, I probably just called um, 
a replica directly because I'm not as tight with the. Uh, I can't remember his freaking name, Max. <clears throat> Although he was probably there for all this anyway, so. <laughs> <clears throat> so, this person is interested in the the weird genetic monstrosities that Genifix has been uh, making. Car out. Panthers. Including Car Panthers. And guard panthers. No, not anymore. <laughs> I think there's a. There will be one car panther. <laughs> they have like it's like a it's like a model, right? Like at the one they have, there's guard panthers and there's like the like the last house guard panther is a slightly smaller car panther. <laughs> so he's looking for toy zebras, and he's looking for the guard panthers. And the toy zebras and the lap elephants and a set of things. And I figure that uh, if we if this works out as a uh, as a job, we can also make sure we grab you your uh, grab a car pan the car panther for you and uh, set things <clears throat> and help out uh, Doctor uh, Sparrow so that uh, that's clear for you, clear for you. All right, we still have to get the, uh, we still have to get the um, cybernetics, but maybe they'll have some cybernetics that we can steal as well. I happen to mention that you uh, think you're theoretically hunted by the syndicate? I'm not leaving that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure right. it would occur to, that it would occur to mention it, oh, but. Okay. That's cool. That's fine. Uh, I think that I order a round of, of sake for everyone for this mission, and I order a replica and I some like nice stuff. Uh, and I order I order Blank Stare his like favorite whatever never ending bottle of like just like gross sake that he seems to love so much. Bottle. I just have, hand it to him and have him fill it up. They, they, so. they, they like open up like a tap of like this like gross sake and it's kind of like. So, so the waitress rocks up with one of the nice, fancy bottles of sake for you, and then handles hands a bottle of turpentine to Blankster. <laughs> or it looks like a bottle of turpentine, but they've literally taped over the label and wrote "sake" in black sharpie, <laughs> and it's like a two-gallon bottle. <laughs> Is it one of the jugs with the little like that little like? corner like hook that you can hold on to yes yeah. the corner rig ring <laughs> correct <laughs> growler of turpentine <sighs> oh man um oh, my God. so that covers everything i really wanted to do with this uh it would be nice if jim made it but i don't think he's gonna based on the fact that i have not heard anything from him yeah. I don't know how that's spelled. Um So yeah, you you, you all square the way. Um you even get sent a nice meal from Simon. And replica, you're confused cuz you left the bar you were at with Simon. And somehow dinner still arrives where you are. <laughs> this this guy has a poor has poor sense of boundaries. So yeah, it's something for us to keep in mind at the uh, at the end of this. You're just gonna pop into your apartment periodically, say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. <clears throat> it's probably too uh, too downscale for him. Oh yeah. If he if if he had met Trip, he might pop into Trip's place. He probably would have. He wouldn't have had much room because it's tiny, but he would have would have popped in. <laughs> well, he would no, his his assistant probably would have shown up, put out like the most luxurious rug for the two foot by two foot square he can fit in, so that he <laughs> could stand on that and then talk to you. As it stood, when Replica went to meet him, he was in. Not just the VIP lounge. He was in the VIP lounge of the VIP lounge. 
because he saw him through like the crazy 3D HUD he had of the entire building and went that guy and somehow not you didn't even realize you were being maneuvered into that area you were just like corralled in inconspicuously until you ended up at his table So the right. only thing you really realize about this guy, because there isn't much on him on uh, the Matrix, is he's so exorbitantly wealthy that money matters not at all to him. He could burn ten cred crossing the street for a cup of coffee if it meant he did it in style. Well, I'll be like that one day. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because that's that's how it that's how it works in this game. Totally, because mm-hmm. y'all y'all are half broke already. You're almost at. I think most of you should be back at where you started at originally. Eight cred. What did we start with? Eight, I think. No, no, you started with five. So if you're only at okay. eight, you're not doing Good. too bad. Because I didn't do the the patch job surgery that was going to get me killed and indebted to everybody. Uh, okay, so, yeah, y'all aren't totally broke. Uh, Trip is back to uh, starting cred value, but you know you got to spend money to make money. <laughs> that's true. Uh, you guys have a nice uh, handler now, so that's a good a good setup there. Um, ah, this was a nice a nice low key, uh, giving me lots to work with. Um, I think that was kind of my blocker. Um, the intervening weeks is I was just not coming up with a decent enough mission that was like really meshing everything y'all y'all had. Um, but you guys are very good at digging your own graves. So (laughs) I'll happily shovel some dirt onto them. The Um, dice helped. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. The the best part of, uh, PBTA games. Yeah. Oh yeah. But, um, um, I like the idea about the 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 genetic fix mission is going to be very interesting. You guys are still going to have to do a um, get the job role when you meet the PA. Mm-hmm. But that will probably be next session. Um, you've got the um, you're on the radar with the GP. You're on the radar with uh, the Syndicate. Uh, you're on C2's radar. I think that covers everyone who's kind of got eyes on you. Uh, okay, here's a good one for you. Trip. Yes. Do you mention to your boss, once you've... Uh, left this lovely dinner of yours anything about simon or the job you're doing this isn't really relevant to our like mission because i my boss i'm thinking is like one of the people that's in the know about like it, our... it isn't relevant to the mission but you are still owned by the company yeah this seems more of like a a per, like a, a fun like thing I do in my my downtime trying to get this car panther. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I might. I'm. I'm. You know. It might be one of those things where I, where I'm kind of like, hey boss, I might have uh, might have some some dirt on on this company coming in, but probably not like a like the full readout of what's going on. More of just your, kind of like a. Your boss perks up. Is like. Really? You 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 you're going to be looking into genetics. Hmm. I just, let's just say I know a guy who knows a guy. Well, one one of my associates um he's he's uh in in the step above my he's he's my skip. He mentions something about heard this thing i think they were talking about a car panther i know that was one of their prototypes i Um, i'm doing literally my best to not like (laughs) fanboy over this car panther mention in front of my boss but i'm like he he 
From what he told me, there's only one that Genetifix made as the like step between the standard Panther and or the the way to set it up so that they made guard sized Panthers. He wants it. <laughs> but but what does he want it for? Uh his collection, obviously. I don't know. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm since okay. when does well, since when uh, do we uh, since when do I know what executives want? Executives say stuff and half the time I have just have to jump, the other half of the time I have to actually ask how high. If the if the guy that I know who knows a guy can come across a, a car panther, maybe maybe I can see if I can't divert that oh, over okay. over here. Okay. You know. Be be real nice if I could get a drone for a mission like this and I kinda like walk out the door in a in a huff. <laughs> <laughs> to which your boss responds, uh, next time don't rob an executive. Or don't be associated with people who do. I, I I'm just I'm just sailing out the door and I hear him but I'm just I don't turn around. <laughs> oh, isn't it fun having that nice plus own next to your name? My car panther. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you have the internal option to not just be like, no, oh, no, I didn't find it. That might make your bosses angry at you. Um. Yeah, that might when, make... I, when they walk out to go to their car and during the day and there's a car panther sitting in Trip's car. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't have one. That's going to go over super well. <laughs> oh, man. That was totally worth it. That was worth every amount of shit I know you guys are about to cause in this mission. <laughs> um... I think I'm going to square it there, unless you guys want to do any other downtime missions. Downtime, uh, spend some more money. Um, this, my trip's been going downhill in the downtime missions. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but this is, you know, the perils of uh, living in a cyberpunk world. You spend money and uh, you get stepped on by the corporations. Because the corporations are everywhere. Take, take your car, Panther. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man! <laughs> All right. Um, so we're gonna wrap it up a little early today. Uh, I know we've only been going for about an hour, hour and I guess technically a half. Um, but without Jim here, we can't quite uh, wrap up that. Otherwise, and it'll give me some time to actually work on the uh, mission itself. So. Um, Thank you again for hanging out. Uh, this was a blast. I'm looking forward to next time <laughs> and exploring the uh, the Genetifix animal heist, as it were. It's gonna be really interesting trying to figure out how to uh, have four people wrangle probably uh, I don't know maybe six creatures total. Two All of right. them are small size. Some of them are maybe not so uh, uh, portable, as it were. We'll see what you end up getting from the uh, PA. Um, but uh, potentially next week I should actually look at my calendar whilst I'm thinking about it before I make promises that so far every time I go, oh, it'll be next week. And then, no, it doesn't work. Um, we can either do next week, or I have no issues doing it the week after, depending on you guys' preferences. I'm tentative for next week, but I'll let you know, hopefully, soon. All right. The next um, day or two. Everyone watching, keep an eye on my Twitter. I will put more actual information when I have it there. Um, if we are doing it next week, I might sound a little like this for a little bit, because I have a dental filling appointment in the afternoon so we'll see how that goes i might sound really goofy as you guys are trying to break into a uh facility <laughs> of which I'm... for trying to steal the pygmy yeah. well yeah. Um, one, of, one of the other fun things with uh 
the the mission that Hamish ran is as we did the legwork phase, he had us describe the building we were breaking into. So hmm. that is going to be a definite element of what you guys end up doing next week or the week cool. after, depending on when we play. Um, awesome. <clears throat> But yeah, that that's it for the Sprawl Subversion episode 2.0. Uh, when we come back next week, we'll probably have a name for the episode because I'll have some goofy, uh, uh, probably animal puns in the process. Um, Excellent. Uh, I'm still Seraph pretty much everywhere. Twitter, uh, YouTube, uh, here on Twitch. If you're in my stream, I'd hope you really understand that one. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, go follow me on Twitch so you can watch us play live. Um, uh, any off weeks on Wednesdays, I'm probably going to be either playing Destiny or Star Citizen, depending on which one's actually running well. Yesterday I tried to play Star Citizen and it was running at like 4 FPS, so I played for about 15 minutes and then stopped. Uh, and then played Destiny 2 for the rest of the evening. Um... I have other games on my list I kind of want to play. I picked up a uh, motorsport management game <clears throat> that I don't remember the name of. Motorsport Manager, like, 2017 or something, which looks like fun. I played it for about 15 minutes. was like, oh, I really suck at this game. Um, but, yeah. Follow, like, subscribe, do all those fun things. Uh, well. Um, you can find me pretty much only on here. Maybe one day I'll get into some streaming, but I am Das Kid on Twitch, and I am Blinks821 on Twitter. I'm not super active on there, but yeah, mostly I'm retweeting Steele's stuff, so if you missed his tweet or want to see it again, come on over. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's about it. Cool. Uh, Shane? You can uh, you can find Trip at Earth's Trip West, where he'll be taking a break from tweeting about space and how evil it is to talk about car panthers all week <laughs> i expect pictures by the way i'm i'm, I'm already looking <laughs> and uh james since i know you don't have much in the way of uh social media existence anything you want to tell the viewers before we uh close out for the evening uh not today i don't think all right cool well, thanks again, everyone, for watching. I had a blast. I am looking forward to this mission next week. And you all have a lovely night. And...